Hey guys, so we are back with some more vanilla with sprinkles and we just got back from the wyvern crevice trench thingy. If you want to know more about that, watch episode 0, but here's a hint. This is in fact the island and that's a map extension. Oh my god. Alright, so um, I've got a bunch of metal and obsidian and I actually got myself some sulfur as well. I've been dropping all the stone because I haven't really been needing too much of that lately. Um, but yeah, we just got back from the trench and we're gonna start smelting up all this stuff and then we're gonna start building our little item room because I've been... Ooh, a lovely accordion, never mind. I've been uh, doing a lot of collecting and just crafting and everything and... Uh, where's the vault? There it is. I am, I think I'm pretty much ready to like get going with all the vaults. I've made like 14 I believe and they are the S plus vaults so they have like apparently double the storage. Um, these ones have like 600 slots, it's kind of insane. I think they're the exact same size as the vanilla ones. Um, and they also stack, I'm not sure if the vanilla ones stack. I can't even remember but the best part about them is this. So you place one down, that's the size of it, 600 slots, cool but you can also snap them to each other, which makes it so much easier. The worst part about vaults for me was always trying to get them lined up perfectly, and the fact that they snap in S+, is so much better, seriously. And even for, like, on whatever, like, PvP servers and stuff, this is gonna be so handy, because when you're making a wall of vaults, like, they snap together, so you don't mess up the, the lining of them, the lining up of them or anything like that. So yeah, um... I just thought I should mention that, but yes, we're gonna start our little item room. So I got a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna put the vaults back. We're gonna probably place those last. Um, we're also gonna need some walls. I'm not sure if we're gonna need all those, depending on how this looks. And we're gonna need these ramps. So let me just chuck all these onto the hotbar. I was doing a little bit of uh, building over here. I turned what used to be ramps let me show you. These are the S plus ramps. You can turn them into stairs, which is so cool. It's just visually, it just changes what they look like, and it looks so much better, to be honest. It really does. And uh, I added the little triangle pieces down there as well. So I'm thinking over here is where we're going to start building the item room or whatever it's supposed to be. It's kind of like a platform. I don't want it to be like at the ground level or anything like that. I want this room to actually have some shape to it rather than just look like a giant box. Um, so I think this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like two ceilings out and the vaults are gonna be on the back wall there uh, Let's just get a couple of them out here see how this looks and I also wanted to see if we could kind of conjoin this with the other side over here. I need to Get that to snap on the same level uh, Oh, We had it there a second ago It's not giving me I'm pressing Q, but it's not giving me any other options Oh, I had it there again. Wait, wait, let me see. Yeah, we'll sort it out after. I want to see if maybe I could do this. And have, like, just a stairs here and a stairs here. Let me see how that's going to look. Uh, so we're going to need... What, is that going to be able to snap there? Probably not, actually. That sucks. Let me see. Can I snap another one to the side? Can't put one here, can I? Maybe if I put a wall up there, will that help? Maybe a wall down. No, it's not going to give me that snap point. All right, uh, maybe just, yeah, we're probably not going to do this then. I was thinking that we just have it like kind of curl around, but apparently that doesn't want to happen. So we'll probably just take these away for now and maybe start from over here. So let me show you what we're looking at. Um, we got to put this away first of all, place down some walls here. And then I wanted to see if this is going to look right. Uh, I want to put a ramp here and turn that into stairs. Does that look good? Yeah, I think I like that. That looks pretty good. And basically up here we're going to have like all the vaults along here. Um, we're going to actually probably start naming them and moving resources in. Maybe even trying to paint them today. We'll see. But uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you find yourself enjoying this video. It really does help. I do appreciate it. And uh, where the hell did that one go? Under here? Yeah, there it is. Oh man, so silly. So, this is kind of like the general idea then. We're just gonna have like just all these things turned into stairs because it looks hell of a lot better. Uh, how many though is the question? How far down do we go with this? And does this look good? I think it looks okay, even though the stairs is kind of pointing out and it turns into a wall immediately here. I think we have enough space to kind of 
see that uh, this is all separate. I don't know. I didn't want to like put this too close to the stairs because then it would be like a little walk in and then up the stairs. I don't know. It would look weird. But um, yeah, hopefully this is gonna look good. All right, let's let's start building some more here. Uh, just do three more and then we'll see how it goes from there. So place down a couple more of these guys here. Turn them into stairs. And this works for all of the ramps in S+, Plus, which is great. Um, really, I love that feature. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, cool. So, vaults. And I think maybe we'll also put some railings up there, but vaults first. Let's get these in. So I'm probably not going to be able to carry all these, so I'm just going to chuck some things back. And how are we going to line this up correctly? Uh, maybe with this step here, I guess. Uh, let me see. Probably could line it up like this. To be honest, actually, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit off slightly. Let me see if I can make that look a little bit better. Now, this is the part that I really want to get right. Because otherwise, it's going to just look like a mess. Um, eh. It's slightly off on the other side now. Crap. Uh, <laughs> oh, I hate doing this on cam. All right, that looks okay. I think that's okay. Let's go with that. So we don't want it touching the wall at all. We want it to be kind of in front a little bit. See that? It just went completely into the wall a second ago. Um, so I think that looks good. Actually, let's put it up a little bit, because I might actually end up sticking some bookcases or something down this end. We'll see. So we'll start here, and then we can immediately get out of that, because we don't need to be in K-mode. We can just snap them. Oh my god. That is satisfying. I'm not even sure, like, if 14 volts is too much, or if it's enough. Um, but that looks insane. That is a lot of work. Oh my god. Oh wow. Alright, so... I've got like a list. I made like a little list here <laughs> just to make it easier to figure out what we're going to stick in everything. Um, so we're going to rename all these and we're going to rename them after what we're going to put in there. So we're going to have stone and flint. Uh, I can't really see my keyboard because my freaking, uh, what is it called? Pop filter is in the way. Fortunately, my pop filter is like freaking massive and I can't really see through it. Um, so we're going to have stone and flint, and we're going to have, uh, wood and thatch. And maybe we'll even paint these to kind of color coordinate slightly, um, we'll see. Let me see, uh, so then we're going to have hide and pelt, and that will, pelt's also going to include, like, human hair and wool and stuff whenever we get that. Um, then we're going to have fiber... Uh, slash silk because obviously um, with the with the extension mod that we have on here the map extension when we have like the the wyvern crevice thing over here we also have scorched shirt materials that we can actually collect on the map um, so we have silk available so I was thinking fiber and silk are you know they're very delicate materials they could probably go together so yeah that's how we're gonna set that one up um, then chitin and how do you spell keratin? <laughs> I don't actually know how to spell keratin. Keratin. Okay. There we go. There's a picture. If you if you Google that, this is just a picture of some lady's hair. That's weird. Keratin. That's right, yeah. I think that's how you spell it. Let me just double check that. Do I even have any? Pretty sure that's how it's spelled. But anyway, um, we're going to have, like, uh, <laughs> server save, I guess. We're going to have um, all these materials here, so keratin. Yeah, no, we had that right. Grand. And that will probably also include some other scorch shirt materials as well. Um, so probably, I'll probably actually have a specific chest for, like, sand and uh, clay as well because those are like major 
building components in uh, Scorched Earth to make the Adobe crap. So uh, here we have the keratin. Then here uh, we're probably going to have semantic paste. And I want, and that's also going to include Akatina paste, by the way. I want to have it as its own vault because if you guys remember in last season, with our Akatina farm, um, we kind of went overboard. We had a huge amount of freaking Akatina paste. We had like 30,000 at one point. And then at that point, I was like, I'm not collecting anymore. Like, we don't need any more. Um, so we're going to have a vault for the cementing paste and Akatina paste. And I'm, I'm just going to call it cementing paste because I don't need to also put in Akatina. Um, here we're going to have the, the powders. So those like spark powder, spark, uh, ugh, can't even see, uh, sludge gunpowder. Okay. So spark powder and gunpowder. Um, and then can probably start going into some of the refined materials, I guess. So. Silica pearls and black pearls. Uh, we could probably actually just go silica slash black pearls. So all the pearls are going to go in there. Um, then going to also have to have crystal slash obsidian. Crystal slash obsidian. What's next? Uh, we're gonna have to have metal here somewhere, so I'm just gonna. This is gonna include metal, as in like in its raw form and also in its um, ingot form. So, just it's just gonna be called metal. Um, and then, what else do we have? Polymer slash uh, electronics. Um, we're also going to have to have a vault here. Oh crap, we're kind of running out of vaults. Jeez. We're going to have to have a vault here for like miscellaneous kind of, uh, materials like the, what is it called? The, the substrate stuff. Uh, what is it called as well? Sap, like all these other materials that don't need to be refrigerated, but, uh, don't really fit in in any of these categories. We're probably going to put them into uh, a vault called miscellaneous probably, I guess. Um, so I think that's all that I wrote down, but there are a couple more. So let's do, uh, we did Palmer. Okay. I guess let's get into some of the score shirt things. So let's go sand slash clay. What else is in scorched? There's all the sulfur and things as well. That can probably go in the metal vault. Uh, let's go up here and have a look at the industrial grinder. By the way, I made an industrial grinder. <laughs> I didn't even show this off. And also, there's plenty of wires. I actually did wiring all the way down here and hit it. Um, so you can't even see it. It's all inside of the ground, kind of. Um, so here we have the grinder. We have clay, sand. We've done those. Um, propellant can probably go... I don't know where that can go. We did silk. Sulfur and propellant could probably go in with the... Sand and clay, I'd say. Yeah, I could probably just bunch a bunch of those things together. Uh, that might work. What else is there, though? I feel like there's more materials. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm cl I'm completely ruling out, like, chests, like, um, what's it called? Uh, structures. I want, like, a little storage thing for structures. I want a storage thing for armor, weapons, ammo, uh, trophy skins, all these other things. I want all that separate to the actual storage system here. So let's leave these two blank for now. And um, we're going to work on everything here. So we have a lot of stone and a lot of flint around. So I'll probably actually fill all that in later. Um, but let's grab, let's just grab most of the hide. So we're going to do pull resources. Let's go to hide. I know I have a lot of hide. Oh my god. Yeah, there's hide in everything. Um, I have 10,000 in the smithy. This is insane. I have been collecting a huge amount. Um, I do want to hold on to some of it. Uh, here, we're actually only going to take... I'll take... 8,000. Let's pull all of that. Oh my god, 17,000 hide. <laughs> wow. Luckily, we made the S plus ones. We're not going to run out of space. Uh, oh no. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it. There you go. 
All right, uh, we do need to get some more things pulled in. We need to get the pelt. I don't think, do I have human hair? No. Um, we need to get pelt. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's pelt and everything here. Let's just grab all of it. Don't have a huge amount of pelt. I need to collect more of that. Uh, so fiber and silk. Um, I don't have any silk, to my knowledge, but we can check. Uh, I don't see any. I hope you guys can't hear that stupid dog. It is so warm in here, and I have to have the window open. <laughs> I just can't. I can't. I just, I can't be in here without that window open now. It's so warm. Hopefully you guys can't hear him. It is, it's annoying. It's not my dog, don't worry. Uh, so we grabbed in all the fiber. We can chuck some more of that up top as well. And actually, I could probably go out in the Therizino and collect a bunch for the, uh, for the, uh, vault here. So, chitin, uh, oh god, I have a lot of that as well. Let's pull all that. Do we have much keratin? Uh, there we go. Actually, we could have just checked the pull menu to figure out the spelling on that. I don't think I've ever had to spell keratin before. Interesting. Uh, we're going to leave some editing paste where it is. Um, spark powder and gunpowder, I'll pull in. And actually, mm, we're going to also have to put uh, charcoal somewhere as well. Yeah, we're going to need a charcoal vault. So I might need to rename up some of these then, I guess. Um, so wait, what? This is spark powder and gunpowder. So we need to get gunpowder. Got a lot of that. Start pulling that. And also, we are at the right level to get a um, chemistry bench now. But the only issue is, I'll show you in just one second. Let me grab the spark pad really quick. Spark. There you go. Uh, all of it. And pull. Cool. So let me show you this really quick. Uh, we are at the right level to get a chemistry bench now because in a recent update, they actually changed it. So chemistry bench is now level 82. Uh, and that's not too expensive. I can actually probably go ahead and craft that. But the thing is, though, I actually want to get the S Plus version, uh, which is they haven't updated it yet, so it's level 90 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make a vanilla one, and I'm going to chuck that into the ocean, and I'm going to spawn in an S Plus one because they cost the exact same. There's There are some differences between them, but, I mean... If S Plus was updated, I'd be able to get this, so uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. I hope you guys are okay with that, because it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Um, did I... Can I craft that? I was thinking to myself, because it says, like, requires mortar and pestle. I was thinking to myself, I already have that. But I don't know why they're in red, though. That's so weird. <laughs> I guess it just shows them in red now. I don't know why. Red makes me think that I don't have those unlocked, though. I don't know. Also, this would have been, like, yellowy if I didn't have the things to unlock it. Anyway, whatever. I just got a little bit confused. So we have a lot of materials in all of these so far. Uh, not that one, <laughs> but the chitin one for sure. So as soon as I get myself a chemistry bench, I'll probably start turning all this into um, cementing paste because I still need a lot of that. And I need, I've been going out on the frog a little bit to collect some, but it's a long trek out to the swamp and uh, there's still not a whole lot in there. What I might do is actually head into the... Um, into the swamp cave once I get myself all the materials to I guess I already have the scuba and I have the ghillies so I could probably go in right now if I wanted to maybe I'll go ahead and do that at some point um, I want to keep the obsidian up there but I'll pull in the crystal I know we have a lot of crystal on the boat so let's grab all that so let's just oh my god <laughs> we have a huge amount of crystal I still need to start working on oh my god there's so many things I need to do by the way uh, there's more windows that I need to do up there. I've done some of them, as you can see. There's, there's some of the windows are turned into the metal glass. So as you can see, like this costs crystal, metal, and uh, cementing paste to build. So I've been kind of preserving all the metal for the vaults, but I've done a couple of the windows in here, uh, just a few. I think it looks okay. It's gonna look a lot better when this place is made out of metal rather than wood. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do that at some point, but that's going to be a little while off. Um, yeah, let's take another look at this, though. I want to do this up a little bit, uh, get maybe a bookshelf thing in here, and down the end here, what we'll probably do... I don't know if I want to stick my like weapons and stuff down here. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a little bit of, little bit of a think about that before we make any drastic changes. 
Um, but yes, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up all these vaults. We've kind of seen the basic premise. We're just going to have all those materials in there. It's going to be really handy for like sorting through everything because um, I don't like being unorganized in terms of like my materials because like currently what I'm doing is I'm just chucking everything into here and everything into here and it's just driving me insane because I don't like doing that. It's, I don't know, it's frustrating. Uh, but we also got to fix up the workshop. Obviously, when we get ourselves a chemistry bench, these are all going. We don't need the mortars and pestles. And I'll probably end up actually moving some of these things. I think I'll probably put the chemistry bench over here, maybe, right here. Uh, for now, I think the workshop looks pretty good, though. And I might actually make another forge eventually and put that one there um, for, like, quick metal smelting and, uh, and stuff like that. So, yeah, uh, give me a couple minutes. We'll sort out some of the materials here, and we'll start building a little bit more down below. Okay, so I think I found some sort of bug in the game. Uh, so check this out. Okay, so chemistry bench, level 82. It is highlighted, so that means I can unlock it. Not working. <laughs> I have the Engram points, clearly. It only costs 65. Apparently, I can't unlock it, which really sucks. I don't understand why. It doesn't make much sense. One thing that I'm thinking is maybe the server needs an update. I don't know, maybe this might be... Something to do with that. I know it. I don't think it's on the most recent version, but the issue is now that there's a bunch of people on, and I can't really expect everybody to hop off. So what I'm gonna do, since we are gonna be using the S plus one, which I've already spawned in, we're actually gonna go ahead and just drop all the materials on the ground. So let me just show you really quick what it's gonna cost. Um, so it's gonna cost 250 cementing paste, 250 crystal. Actually, crap. We need to grab that crystal. Uh, 250 electronic. Uh, metal, uh, polymer, and then a hundred um, spark powder. So, cementing paste, crystal, electronic, metal, polymer, and then a hundred cementing paste or a hundred uh, spark powder crap, whatever. <laughs> uh, so, basically, now I just gotta grab myself some crystal. Uh, if you actually just keep hitting C, it will eventually go down to the crystal. Oh crap! Whatever. I'm just gonna scroll to it. It's easier. No, I hit cactus sap apparently. What the hell's happening? Uh, I don't know what the hell's happening. That was weird. Uh, so crystal. Need 250. By the way, I literally just put everything into the vaults. I went ahead and just like filled them all up just so we can see. So this is everything. We have the cementing base, crystal, electronic, metal, polymer, and the spark powder. I can't unlock the engram, so I can't go ahead and just craft one to drop on the ground. So we're just going to drop these on the ground. And that will suffice for technically crafting this. <laughs> Such a mess. I don't even understand. Alright, so we're going to let all that despawn. And we're going to work down here. So I've changed it up a little bit. And also, crap, now we can place our chemistry bench. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Uh, I'm going to need some of this. I guess we'll just take that. Take a little bit more. We're going to need to build up some more gasoline pretty soon here. Uh, so I think I'm going to place this over here. This is a good spot for it. I think I'm probably going to need another outlet first. That will do for now. We might have to move it, but it's okay. And it is powered, but, uh, I can't go ahead and put this onto only electric mode or anything like that. There's no such thing. So I have to also put gas in to get it to run. So yes, um, let's go over here and we'll show you guys the bottom of the base. Uh, okay, so we have uh, all of our, um, what are these called, the bookshelf things. These are actually the metal ones, which are part of S+, Plus, which is quite nice. I think it suits it a lot better than the stupid wooden ones. I don't know why Real Arc has not actually introduced a metal version. It's going to be pretty cool when S+, Plus comes onto the official servers, and you guys are going to have access to all these cool things, because, like, definitely on official, this is going to be a lot better for you guys, because... Honestly, if you guys, if you had a base on official, would you rather put all your best blueprints into a tiny little wooden box that can be broken really easily, or a vault? Hmm? Definitely the vault. So this is, this is definitely good enough, I guess. Like, 2,000 health is not the best, but still, it's metal, so it's pretty good. Anyway, we've, uh, we haven't filled these up yet. We probably could probably go ahead and do that pretty quick. So we have structures, armor, uh, weapons, tools, and saddles. Uh, so like the five main categories of the um, of the blueprints, I probably could have put 
uh, weapons and tools together, but I like to separate them out a little bit. Anyway, so we redid all this a little bit here too, and also, I didn't even show you guys, you didn't even see. Yeah, we have lamps. Nice, right? I like them. These are the S plus ones, they can actually snap to the wall. It's like, it's not the big lamp that sits on the, um, on kind of like the pole or whatever. These ones actually are just that tiny little unit that can actually just snap to a wall, which is great. And the ceiling, I, I believe, as well. So we might put some internal lights in here or something, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so I put a bunch of those up here, and I think when it hits nighttime, they should turn back on, I guess. I didn't know that they would turn off. But uh, yes, uh, we have stone, we have wood, slash, we have stone and flint, we have wood, thatch, we have uh, sand, clay. I moved it up here because I thought it looked a little bit better. Hide pelt, uh, fiber, silk, chitin, keratin, we have cementing paste, we have sulfur, propellant, and charcoal. I thought all three of those kind of went together slightly. Uh, we have spark powder, gunpowder, we have crystal obsidian, silica pearls and black pearls, we have metal, polymer and electronic, we have gas and oil, I never even thought about oil earlier, and I have a couple more volts which I can place down, I'm not sure what's going to go in these. Wasn't sure if that one was actually going to stay there or not, and I do have one more, can, oh can they just snap in midair, are you kidding me, that is amazing. <laughs> I didn't even need to freaking put a platform into here, I could have literally just done this. That's insane. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I don't know what we're going to stick down here yet, but I definitely need one for like miscellaneous. And we're obviously going to have one for element eventually. So I'll probably just designate one now and just call it element. Obviously, we we're nowhere near where we can actually get element. But eventually when we have it, I want to actually have it like in its own vault, I guess. Um, so yeah, this is this is pretty good up here. I think I like it. And it's going to look a lot better with all those lights on. But uh, we just need to finish off the end here a little bit, so we could probably go ahead and just do that. And don't need all those walls. I actually only need like three. So um, I do have this hole here, so we can get to the shark. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, we're gonna have a better option for that pretty soon. Oh man, I can't believe we have a chemistry bench now. It's awesome. Okay. Oh, actually, I don't even need to head to that hole. I can use my canteen in here, and it fills up from the ground. Uh, so what am I doing here? Oh, yes. And um, we need how many more? Oh. One. We're going to probably go out to there, I guess, for now. We might extend this out or bring it back a little bit. We'll see. But for now, it's going to look like this. And actually, we go ahead and pick these up for now. we got to also put these in here. And turn these into stairs. And how is that looking? Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Alright. I'm noticing an, a little bit of an issue here. Uh, we can solve this really quick by just taking away these. And then placing those there so they definitely snap on that side. And it's snapped down there somehow. Uh, number three. There we go. Okay. And I do see this issue over here, by the way. There is a little bit of a gap. That's because I obviously placed the wrong one and just turned it around. So, I'm going to take that away. Uh, so, I think, wait, what one did I just hit? Number seven. So, number six is the one that we need. Perfect. Amazing. All right. Well, uh, railings, I guess, is the last thing. And I freaking love this feature on S+. The railings that go up ramps. Amazing, just simply amazing. I think actually over here, does that look the same? No, because these are snapped to something else. They're snapped to the top of the wall rather than the ceiling here. So we actually need to go ahead and snap the railings the same way. There we go. Luckily, I noticed that. Sweet. So, this is pretty awesome, guys. I don't know what we're going to stick down here. We're going to sort all that out at some point. We're going to have to find a place to put our armor and all those other things. I'll probably need, like, six little... I probably won't even use vaults, to be honest, because... I don't know. We might use the S plus crafting stations for it, because they have 300 slots and you can stack them up. Uh, so, these things right here. They're really handy. But 300 slots in it definitely is, like, just amazing. Because um, you can just fit so much stuff in there. Uh, there's the slot count. I completely forgot where even they show them. 
Uh, so yeah, this is this is really shaping up, guys. Look at this. Look at what we did. Amazing. Oh, actually, let's grab our blueprints. Yeah, let's chuck those things in. And also, I do have like plenty of like different armor pieces and stuff. And people are still wondering. Oh, server save. Yeah, I was gonna say. People are still wondering like why am I still not using flak? I'm gonna use flak here pretty soon. Um, I just kind of like the the chitin armor. I think it looks cool. I think it like I don't know. It looks really great. I don't know. <laughs> All right, what do we got up here? So, do we have any structure ones? No, apparently not. I thought we did. So, armor. Um, a couple more there. The rest are saddles, and there's a couple weapons. So, weapons. Bam, bam. Uh, I guess you can go in there too. And then saddles. So, we have quite a few little saddles here. We gotta take a look at maybe taming up some of these creatures because like they're not the worst saddles like ramshackle apprentice whatever probably going to be getting a mammoth pretty soon so we have a saddle for that and that's really cheap as well cool oh and a galley saddle i forgot about that one so yeah i think um the next thing that i could probably do is maybe paint up these things but i i, I don't really i have like the little cooking pot but like eh, it's a big pain i don't like using those things i like using the industrial cooker which we're pretty close to I think. Wait, what level is that again? Uh, and dust. Yeah, it's level 89, so we're not that close, but we're gonna get there eventually. Don't you worry. And then we'll probably paint up all these things. We'll see. Right, well, that's probably gonna be the end of today's episode, guys. I know it's mostly become kind of like just setting up things, mostly kind of a, a relaxed episode. Um, so yeah, I hope you did enjoy it anyway. If you did, hit the like button. Appreciate it. It always helps out. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Hit that little notification button down below. And uh, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>